Hot Seed gonna be fighting off against Wishes. This is going to be an amazing fight ahead of us. Uh, I think it's quite evident Wishes taking a 3-0 over Kofi to get himself into this top 16. This is the top eight qualifier. And Wishes is no stranger to high pressure situations against top talent like this. Premier Pokemon trainer coming out of New Jersey. In fact, one of the top three out of New Jersey. Yeah, and he did fantastic at Collision, man. Like, he, he placed extremely well there. Having placed ninth there, I believe. Narrowly escaping top eight. He's definitely looking for top eight this time around. If he wins this, he's guaranteed winner's semis. And that's going to be a big deal for him. Especially rocking up a win of, like, Light against yeah. him. But, you know, off the bat, Light starts to turn up and rack up a ton of damage. We gotta get there first, man. Yeah. And White is definitely not the type of pushover to let that happen, but calling out the Pokemon change. Oh. Quick, swift kick to the head. My lord. I, I cannot believe he parried the side view from Squirtle and called out the, the Pokemon switch. That was disgusting. Hey, Charizard Forder. coming out and get not killing just yet, but we'll see what this fire is able to do. No stomping today. Yeah. You saw he misspaced that a little bit. I def he definitely wanted to go for a little bit earlier, but he managed to catch the back air. Doesn't need the high three whatsoever. Just catches with the fire tail. Light just walks up to him. Waits for him to go for an option, and then throws out the up smash, going into a two stock situation. Squirrel's a little little turtle, man. Easy to kick. Second Light's character in the game, even. So it's not going to be too difficult for Light to end out stocks if he catches wishes on the Squirtle. That's why Ivysaur and Charizard, especially, are going to be so important. With Ivysaur, a lot of that zoning potential, plenty of movement options, and able to anti air really well. And I feel like that's going to be very important factors fighting off against Light. And you recognize that Light switched over to Charizard so he could weigh a little bit heavier. He would not have survived that last up air if it wasn't for this, the switch. So he's trying to do this to live as long as possible, but it's not going to survive you from a Fox of Smash 139. I don't care who you are. You're on the platform of PS2. And that's the problem with Charizard. Wishes can go into Charizard to try and extend stock as best as he can, but if he's going to be combo food, it's not going to matter anymore. Nonetheless, though, Wish is still turning up the heat, trying to get the second to last stock off. Down throw, up E, it's still not going to be enough. So off stage, Leon just beat Nairo. Nairo is in loser's bracket, top 32. How's that for your storylines, wow. my man? Wow, okay. New Jersey, we New hear Jersey. you. Oh my god. Anyways, <laughs> Wishes versus Light, one stock apiece. That's what all the yelling in the background was. And listen, we're not done listening to New Jersey just yet. You know that crowd is going to move right on over to this set. If they manage to take this first game away from Light, but right now Light is in command of the stage. It is double jump. Oh, no! He got stopped on like a Koopa Troopa! My I man know some, fell! Somewhere in this production line, Devin 3000's heart broke a little bit watching that. Oh, my God. You saw him, like, immediately go for the side B, and Light saw an opportunity. Win for it, and you that, that's that's a, that's the equivalent of getting your shield broken, man. Like, you're, you're down there. I think you're in 70 frames of end line. If yeah, I look at that. Correctly. He saw the opportunity. I think originally he was gonna go for the platform. Saw look he was at his go face. Side B. Look at his poor face 79%, and you die for going for side B, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you deal with withdrawal. That is how you deal with it. You just jump on him. It's a hard life to live, but you know Wishes ain't switching off of this character. Yeah. He is determined to showcase what he can do with Pokemon Trainer. Well, honestly, Wishes was doing really extremely well that entire set. It was just his deciding fate was that withdrawal, getting the yeah. stop on from Light. Light saw, sawing the opportunity, it took it from him. So, yes, got to stick with the Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, he tends to play Squirtle the most, I believe. And it makes sense, just because but Squirtle has an excellent combo game against a fast follower like Fox, and on top of that, being incredibly agile is going to be so important against Fox. If he's just able to move out of Fox's range, yeah. he's got to make Light work so much harder for getting those combos, for netting those kills. Nonetheless, we'll see how Battlefield takes it into consideration. And Water got immediately charged from Wishes. That's a tool I really hope we get to see him use. And right there, you notice right off the bat that Wishes punishing a whiff dash attack on his shield. He got 53 damage for it because he went for a neutral air at a shield instead of going for the grab. Because a lot of people's instinct is to just go for a shield grab when that situation arises, but he knew he'd get a lot more off than air. So just good awareness coming from him. Runs up with the up smash, not to get the kill just yet. Goes for the Pokemon switch to avoid certain death that is now chilling off stage. I actually really like the down air on the grounded Fox specifically, just because that little bit of insulin, that's all he needs just to get himself back on. And honestly, this is still looking like a very doable first stock for Wishes, most importantly because Light hasn't really got anything going. He's going for tit for tat for Wishes. And that's not the easiest of battles to manage. The all right, smash. Buddy. Good response from Light. Opting to get away and go from below. Off stage into a back air, 142%. Switch over to the Charizard. Gonna go look, look for that high three forward air. Or just go for the ultimate, you know? Take him off the top yeah, rope, man. Off the top, dude. Suplex uh, City, man. 
Not really a suplex, I guess. But. Nah, but I mean, this is still the. the Where same. is Incineroar? Honestly. <laughs> hey, Broza was commentating earlier. That what what happened right? to 6WX? Uh, he's, he's somewhere. Anyways, here we go. Squirrel here. versus Light. You know, sometimes whenever uh, Light puts his opponent in that position, a uh, huge thing for a lot of players is just immediately go for the double jump and burn it so they don't get put into a tech situation. Yeah, but getting stuck in the Fox Vortex is never fun, especially against the likes of Light. Yeah. And he has like a checklist that he goes off as he hunts his victims. He's waiting to see what resources get used. He's out of jumps. This is a big play coming out from Wishes. The second he, he recognized Light was going to come and recover with the double jump, he had the Ivysaur up at the ready, smacked him off stage, and his fate was sealed. Let's go one stock away from bringing home a point away from Rogue Light. And honestly, you can start to hear the crowd roaring now. New Jersey's starting to get behind their boy. This is one of their champions, and honestly, one of the most likely people to put Light into the loser's bracket on this side. Light gets himself into top eight here, and he's gonna have to fight against the winner, Leon and Juice. And to be honest with you, I don't know how well either of those players are gonna be able to fight off against a Fox as violent as Light. And going for the Charizard, comes in with a back air. The thing is, he's at death percent. Maybe not off a grab, but the Okay, maybe off yeah. a grab. Maybe off a grab, dog. Yeah. That, that was a tr so what happened there is was a tragedy. Well, if we, if we watch the slow mo really quick, Light actually went for a double jump side B, I believe, right? It's so like when he gets thrown off stage, because he committed to, he committed to the Fox illusion, that's why he died. Yeah, but, I think he just side B's out. Yeah, he side B's to the right. Yeah, because he knows he's good as done. Because oh. he would not have been able to come out far that, enough. That is fair. I think, yeah. Check that. Yeah. Fox. He, no, he went left. Oh. Yeah, he <laughs> definitely went left. Okay. It might be like how certain moves shift you a little bit. Yeah. He was trying to, he was trying to negate the uh, trajectory, but then instead be, of because it actually helps him yeah, go into the Yeah, he supplemented going yeah. into the blast zone. So uh, sick jokes. Uh, nonetheless, 1-1 one, one count aside going to Smashville for game three. And I feel like Wish is going to be able to control the stage really well. He just needs to keep with a similar game plan of game two, which was don't let Light touch the floor. And again, this isn't like the previous set when he was fighting against Ness where he had to like try to run away from the grab range. This is actually going to be a beneficial stage for Fox. He has the way to just apply even more pressure against Wishes, but at the same token, Wishes is, Wishes is going to do the exact same thing back to him. But here we go, all this big damage coming up from No Signal. My man looking for that up smash in the background. That was Light triggering that, man. <laughs> Move so fast we couldn't capture it, but hey. There we go, down air into up smash. The classic takes away the first stock from Wishes. He wants to go immediately straight back to Squirtle. Like I mentioned earlier, it's because of that combo game that Squirtle can potentially get. He, oh, combo, How about that combo, combo potential? Game, combo game. I see my man gets a jab lock off of a singular down tilt. My man was at 90% and exploded. Squirtle. Wishes is so good at catching those pratfalls. Look he, at all these parries. He points for the man. It doesn't matter. Like be the parry god, but he's not getting any follow-ups out of it. He's, he's not moving to safety out of it. It does nothing to stop the pressure from Wishes. Until he finally gets a reflector razor leaf right back towards him, manages to sneak away stage control from Wishes, trying to. Oh, that that was really sneaky from Wishes. You saw him trying to let go of the ledge, go for the up B to catch a, a maybe aggressive light, but he was cautious instead. Good patience on light, even shielding through the down air pressure coming from Wishes. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna be the yeah. forward smash call out. The thing is, he was holding on the rapid jab a little bit too long. He was trying to push him away from a distance. Oh, but that back air off stage. That sweet it's, spot back air. My man went flying into the blast. So now Wishes 103% coming down with Ivysaur. Pretty good pick. Tried to eat his double jump again. You saw him immediately go for a second back air. Could easily toss him off stage. Off stage charge. That was a very dangerous situation to be in. Down throw. Let's get that damage. It's time to see the Charizard show here. Some 30 degree burns. Listen, man, we're oh, playing it no with way. the timber. The and jump. just like that, the score is 2 1 in Wish's favor. Right on game point. Are we about to see both White and Nairo occupy the loser's bracket at the same time? The thing is, he knew that Light was going to double jump right there. So he's like, I'm just going to go for it. Catches the spot dodge. He's like, here it is. This and is the your sweet habit. spot, you too, in. with a little oh, bit of rage. That's what you I'm know talking I caught about. That. Mwah, it was beautiful. When Justy is playing well, this kid is on fire. He can duke it out with the best of them. And there's no one better than Light when it comes to this. If anyone's going to get this matchup done, it's going to be Wishes. The thing is, if, you, if, you, if I was a betting man and you asked me, who's winning this, Light or Wishes? I think I would say Light, honestly. I think Light is the king of comebacks. He's he can, the people's it's only, champion. It's only a 2-1 deficit. Like, it's not that bad. 
You can easily bring it back and just like wrap the bag. He's already tacked on 44 damage. Has yet to really been touched. Light, no matter where he travels, is a favor to win because of his style of play. He's always able to turn up the heat no matter how hot he's playing. But these are not his people. This is Wish's people. This is his crowd. And he is feeling the energy. Okay, again, Charizard trying to go for like just, just a little, little bit longer. He was able to survive the up smash because he switched to Charizard. But he's like, it's not going to work again. Notice the, the adjustment coming from Light. He's playing more cautious, more patient. He's not just dashing in, guns blazing. He's waiting to see Wish's reaction before going in and going for a safe down air. If he would have been able to block that, Light could have easily escaped from any sort of follow-up. So because he could hit confirmed, he was able to get a kill. That's the type of safe play that we're going to start seeing from Light. Everybody always loves to focus on how aggressive he can be, but nobody ever realizes just how quick he can turn that to the defensive, how well he can wait for the whiff punish. That patience is a key part of how violent of a player he is. And when he needs to play it defensively, he's so capable of it. Everyone oh my God. never stops to see what you can do with this character. Was he hoping for like a spot dodge or something? That was a ridiculous call out with that forward smash. But pushes him off stage. Charizard has a ridiculous amount of kill power. Trying to play safe. Goes for the ledge attack to push him off. And because Fox kind of like does a long kick when he gets back on stage. It reaches. Not dead yet. 128%. Going to go try to recover from down below. Scoops him up with the up smash. Wishes bringing it back. Yo, with the touch too. Doesn't even oh, right. You try to do an up smash twice. I'm going to hold shield, dog. Okay. These Which players are so far into each other's heads. This isn't even a look at the Trainer versus Fox matchup anymore. This is so much more just Light versus Wishes, and Wishes is winning. And honestly, it's Charizard that's making the, the, the game plays here. Charizard's helping him stay alive, but... Oh my god, if that would have caught, I, like, I don't think it would have died, but could you imagine? Bro, you know ah, everyone would have gotten that. loud. We're what? getting as loud what? as we are now! What? Wishes is running away with this lead, the and he's kind of catching up smash for his efforts. But now Justy is right on the verge of taking this 3-1 over Light. Okay, here we go, he's bringing it back, 8%. Wish is trying to get some combo damage going, applying pressure against Light. Light knocking him away, trying to bring this... Okay, there we go, the parries. This is what Light is known for. He was like one of the first players to bring it out back in December when the game was just for a month old. But now he's off stage. that's where he's at his weakest. They're just, they're playing like tag in terms of who can get the corner pressure. Who, who's gonna be the one in the air? Dude, it's, it's truly a look at like how fighting game mentality works where it's a matter of your turn versus my turn. And Light refuses to let his turn end. Constantly swinging, constantly waiting for Wishes to press a button and punish that. But Wishes is staying is equally patient. He's got the back here off stage. Looking for he the forward smash! Calls out just the like air that. He gets the kill! And he the crowd the rushes Justy as Wishes takes the 3-1 over Rogue Light. My man sitting in top eight winners semis. My boy, Wishes, bringing it back. Got ninth at collision, coming back guaranteed. Top five after taking out Light. Rogue Light, top four. People assumed was gonna be Nairo, he's in losers. Light, he's in losers. And they got DeBuzz and Mars left. But it's Wishes that made it. What a call out right here. He comes back, he air dodges in. He Why tried to go for a neutral, dodge? he went for a neutral air dodge. Because there's less lag when you touch the ground over going for a directional one. And I'm because that. of that, he got called out for it and he got punished for the, that was the game winning move. I'm doing right there. that. Which is not the kind of player you can try to go for those moves for. You can't afford to make mistakes, not even one. The thing and is, just like that, the problem is it was all conditioning, right? Hell of a road ahead of him. It was 